With FNCS starting very soon, I have eight common mistakes that players often make and that you should avoid. Number one is don't fail to prepare. Tournament preparation is something that's regularly forgotten about, and FNCS deserves your care and attention. Have you planned your off-spawn carefully, especially if you've changed your drop spot recently? Do you have a drop map? If not, you either need to buy one from a trusted source or make one yourself. Do you know your standard loot path? Do you know what your backup landing spot and loot path is if someone is out dropping you? These things all take time, thought and practice. If you do not do it, you are starting the tournament at a disadvantage. How about your plans with your duo for mid-game and end-game? Do you know what sort of rotations you might make? Will you use blimps, IO cars, or will you just run around the map? Where are you planning to look for Surge? What playstyle will you have in end-game? And do you either have a designated IGL or just a good enough chemistry to make decisions between you on the fly? If you go into the tournament with all these things planned out properly, that means you'll have made as many important decisions as possible before the games, which leaves more time and a clearer mind to make other decisions that pop up as the games unfold. Number two is don't neglect your warm up. You need to warm up. Your muscles need to warm up, your fingers need to find their familiar position on the keyboard, your awareness needs to be heightened. Do not log in with five minutes until the start of the tournament. I'd recommend at least half an hour, if not an hour of warm up, with creative building, editing and aiming as a big priority over playing any actual arena games. Encourage your duo to get in call with you while you warm up, to get that team bonding going and to discuss your final plans. I actually wouldn't recommend 1v1s against each other if you are liable to getting a little toxic during them, but if you're very comfortable with each other, then by all means, go ahead. Number three is don't change your playstyle. FNCS round one is not the time to change your playstyle. That time has already passed. I'm talking mostly about endgame here. If you're a low ground team, don't suddenly try and play height for this tournament. And if you're a height team, don't play low ground. Don't do stupid things like trying to top with wood in first moving to save all your hard mats for later just because you think you need to take some risks. Changes like these will usually just make you a lot worse as a duo. You're used to your own playstyle, and in all likelihood, you'll do best just by sticking to what you know. There are some exceptions to this, like if you never take cash cups seriously and only W key, then clearly you will need to make some changes for this tournament, but we'll talk about that later. At this point, I'd just like to say that if you do want more help for FNCS after watching this video, then my premium service in Discord is the best place for that. I'll be providing live points estimates for EU and NAE, as well as general advice before and during the tournament. You'll have a free two-week trial when you sign up, which will cover you perfectly for the FNCS qualifiers. Link is in the description below. At number four, we have don't forget that this is like a cash cup. People will play a bit more passively in FNCS, so the end games have a few more players, but that doesn't make the players any harder to beat. They're just the same players, but boxed up in an end game instead of running around aimlessly in mid game like they do in a cash cup. Even cash cup lobbies are played relatively seriously these days with Surge sometimes appearing in them. You should have already had some experience of similar games that you'll see in FNCS. There is so much in common between FNCS and Cash Cups, and you should leverage that thought. Your opponents are almost the same set of players because both tournaments just require you to be in the Champions League. 90% of the people playing FNCS are also playing the same Cash Cups that you are. They're just the same as you. They're all Cash Cup players who are getting stressed over this big situation. But in fact, FNCS can be very slightly easier, as more of the casual competitive crossover players are only playing FNCS, and they aren't that great. If you realise it's not that different, and everyone else is getting all stressed and scared at the big tournament, then you have the advantage. Number five is don't forget that it is not a cash cup. This point is the exact opposite mistake as the last one, which is forgetting that it is not a cash cup and that there are actually some differences. One of the biggest is that a lot more people qualify for round two of FNCS, and that's a great thing for you. In the large regions this season, 2000 duos will qualify. While in cash cups you might feel like it's almost impossible to get that top 50 to qualify for the final, here you can aim a lot lower. It's almost never too late to come back even after a bad start or a bad middle because you don't need anywhere near the 150 points required in cash cups. The other thing that you need to make sure you do differently to a cash cup is focus. A lot of players don't care much about cash cups so they lose focus and aren't fully ready each time they drop out of the battle bus. In FNCS, you will probably care much more and you'll have that natural focus and adrenaline, but you still need to be ready and resetting mentally every game. Number six is don't W key too much. I could have merged this with the last point, but it is so important that it deserves its own space. Regardless of whether you key a lot in cash cups and feel confident doing it, I'd recommend not to do it here, unless you are a pro. The first game of FNCS does not need to be keyed. 
In fact, on EU, only about 10% of the teams that qualify will even win their first game, and other regions will be even lower. On EU, you will only need to be around top 10 in the first game to be on track to qualify, and not even that on the other regions. Sure, pro is your key, but that's because it's easy for them. They'll mostly finish in the top 100, but you're only aiming for top 2000 generally, so you should just play for end games, be consistent, and you can easily qualify by doing that. If you fall behind, you don't have the key to catch up either, unless you are really running out of time. Just aim for some good placements and you'll be fine. At 7 we have Don't Fall Out With Your Duo. I hope your duo is also watching this video because this concerns them as well. Maybe it really is their fault that you just died. The impulsive action is to blame them and be quite angry. Unfortunately this is not the best thing to do. Have you ever tried playing with a teammate who you have fallen out with? A lot of you probably have and it is near impossible. The most important thing is to reset for the next game with good vibes. You can emotionally discuss it after the tournament if you really want, but during the tournament is not the time to dig yourself deeper into a hole. If you're on the other end and being blamed for mistakes, just accept it. And if you disagree, just vaguely agree with them, apologize and move on. Again, you can discuss further after the tournament. Lastly, at number eight, we have don't stress because FNCS isn't your life. FNCS is seen as the most important tournament of the season and this stresses people out. You feel like this is your one big chance to prove yourself and that all the effort has been wasted if you don't perform here. You get stressed, you get nervous, and often that ends with bad results. This is the wrong way to think. There's an FNCS every three months, and let's be honest, you probably weren't going to earn big money anyway unless you're a pro. There are plenty of other tournaments to do well in in the future. Just relax. After all, for 99% of you, Fortnite is a hobby, not a job, and hobbies are meant to be fun. If you fail spectacularly and rage, then one day you will look back and think how funny it was that you cared so much. I don't deny that the game can be rage inducing, but just sit back and try to enjoy the experience while it's here. Whatever region you're playing on, whatever your aim is and however you end up doing, I just hope that you have a great time in FNCS and good luck to all of you. See you next time.